Hello and welcome. So in this problem, we are going to uh, be given a Phillips curve. This is a, a Phillips curve is going to relate to us how different inflations uh, and different deviations between realized inflation and expected inflation uh, relate to different levels of unemployment. We're also going to be given a loss function here. The loss function is uh, some kind of function that we're going to kind of assume a central bank is trying to minimize. Um, uh, and yeah, we're going to be given we're going to give a central bank different inflation targets to see how that affects our loss function here. So this problem uh, is borrowed from MinQ uh, Macroeconomics. Uh, it's from the chapter on alternative perspectives on stabilization policy, and this is um, problem applications question three. Um, yeah. So this question asks, a central bank uh, has decided to adopt inflation targeting and is now debating whether to target 5% inflation or zero inflation. The economy is described by the following Phillips curve, this guy right here. So current unemployment uh, is equal to 5, so I'm guessing that's the natural rate of unemployment, minus 1 half times the deviation between realized inflation and expected inflation, uh, which is similar to the one we just, the problem we just did. Uh, our loss function here is the following, so loss is equal to unemployment, plus 0 0.5 times the inflation rate squared. So the, the central bank is going to try to minimize this. This is just kind of an arbitrary parameterization. In general, the higher unemployment, the worse off a central bank is. You know, a central bank generally wants this to be pretty low. And also, uh, a central bank wants inflation to be pretty low. So if they're trying to minimize this, they want unemployment and inflation to be as low as possible. OK, so part A is the following. So once again, here's our Phillips curve, here's our loss function. Part A asked, if the central bank commits to a target of 5% inflation, what is expected inflation? If the central bank follows through, what is the unemployment rate going to be? And what is the loss from, the infl from inflation and unemployment? So if the central bank targets that, uh, you know, the target inflation rate is going to be 5 then expected inflation rate is going to be 5%. And then, um, you know, assuming they're successful in implementing that target, that means realized inflation is going to be 5%. So, uh, you know, if the central bank says that their target's going to be this 5% in our simple economy, that means people are going to set their expectations in line with that. Uh, and assuming the central bank does its job right, that means, you know, actual inflation is going to fall in line. So we'll get the following when we plug that into our Phillips curve. So starting off with the un unfilled in Phillips curve, um, actual inflation is going to be this 5 and then expected inflation, you know, people are going to just set their expectations in line with what the central bank says their target is. So this 5 by the 5, all of this goes out to 0, and the unemployment rate is going to be this 5%. So unemployment is going to be this 5% rate. Now, plugging that into the loss function, what do we get for um, loss? Well, we get the following. So this is our loss function, uh, and I added this little bit here just to acknowledge that the loss function is a function of observed unemployment and inflation. So um, plugging those numbers in, the unemployment rate is going to be U, which is 5, that we just found. And inflation, assuming the central bank is successful in setting inflation in line with their target, is going to be 5 as well. So solving this out, we get a loss of 6.25. Um, so that's the loss with this. So uh, in the next part, in part B, we're going to see a different inflation target and see what the loss is in that situation. So part B here says, uh, if the central bank commits to a target zero inflation, what is expected inflation? If the central bank follows through, what is the uh, unemployment rate going to be? And what is the loss from inflation and unemployment going to be? Well, if the central bank target is zero uh, percent, then this means that uh, when people set their expectations, they're going to set it in line with this target rate. So expected inflation is going to be equal to the zero percent. And then if the central bank is successful, you know, it actually follows through with that inflation rate, then realized inflation is also going to be zero. So in the exact same way that we had done the previous problem, you know, this actual inflation is zero, expected inflation is zero. So that means this whole term is going to go to zero and the unemployment rate is going to be this five. So unemployment is this 5% again, same, and we did it the same process as in part A. So what about the loss function? So the loss function, all we have to do is plug in these numbers here. So the unemployment rate is 5, and realized inflation is 0. So the loss here is going to be exactly equal to 5. 
So, you know, part A, we found a loss of 6.25, and given this new inflation target, we have a lower loss. So part C asks us to kind of compare our answers. So based on your answers from part uh, A and B, which inflation target would you recommend and why? Well, I mean, you know, if the goal of the central bank is to minimize that loss function, then their target inflation uh, rate of 5% uh, implies a loss of 6.25. If the target inflation is at zero, they get a loss of five. So clearly the preferred policy is going to be that zero inflation target. Um, and although this is a very simple example, you kind of imagine a central bank, you know, they have some kind of uh, loss function in their mind. They're trying to keep either inflation stable or keep it in line with the target. They have a, a, an unemployment rate they have in mind, and they're trying to keep unemployment rate stable and pretty much in line with that. And uh, they're curious how different policies might affect that loss function. So they might have a model for how, if they tweak, um, you know, inflation rates or they inflate, tweak interest rates, that sort of thing, how that might affect that loss function. Uh, and then they work through it and find the policy. They set up monetary policy that minimizes that loss function. And so, although this is a very simple example, you can kind of use this as an idea of what a central bank might be doing when it uh, uh, to help it determine what policy it actually sets for an economy. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.